Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy, fantasy, novels, and short stories. With me is Sam West, and it is, what are we calling this? Marshall Monday. And today we are going to be talking about the fighting style, uh, Great Weapon Fighting. Not to be confused, Great Weapon Master, which I almost said. Which is a baller feat. And this is, I, I think, and I know statistically that people are like, but it doesn't do that much extra damage. Listen. This is an underrated fighting style. I think this is a fun fighting style. I think this is a fighting style that asks you to make some interesting decisions. And for that reason, I will always and forever enjoy it. It's still not that powerful. People are right in that it's not that good. But I do really like it and take it all the time. So when you roll a one or a two on a damage die for an attack made the melee weapon that you are wielding with two hands. So it's going to be a virtual or a two-handed weapon. You can re-roll the die and must use the new roll, even if the result is a one or a two. Weapon must be you have the two-handed or versatile property to gain its benefit. It even says it right there. Basically, you'll be like, all right, I'm going to roll this 2d6 with my maul. Ah, oh, crap. I rolled a 1 and a 5. You get to re-roll the 1, and you might get a 6, and then you hit like a truck, and it feels so good. It feels so freaking good to turn a 2 and a 1 into a 4 and a 5. Oh, my God. You feel like an absolute legend whenever it occurs, where you like quadruple your damage for the roll. And that's why I really love this fighting style. I think that the moments of feels bads go down a lot, especially in the early game when you're only making one attack around. Whenever your attack's damage re-rolls automatically the bad dice, where you go, ah, it's okay, it's a one, hold on, I can still beat a five, and you pick it up, and you're nervous, and you roll it again, and it's, you know, a lot higher than that. I think it's a super fun mechanic, even though, again, on average, you're not getting that much extra damage out of it. Um, Yeah, I, I'll agree with that. Hey, but you know me, I'm a, I'm kind of the gambler. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I value fun more than statistics. Sure. Um, what, all right. So, but it's not as simple as all that because you got, you know, some weapons will do a D12. So we get one chance to roll your one or two and then whatever. But others are doing 2D6. So you uh, double your odds of getting to re roll something. But then there's, damage on top of that sometimes and that's Usually. all re-rollable as well like when you roll a one or a two on a damage die for an attack you make with a melee weapon that you are wielding with two hands from my understanding scales with some mechanics and not others so whenever a whenever a feature says the weapon deals more damage it qualifies for this whenever a feature deals additional damage that is not part of the weapon attack. It just mm -hmm. on hit takes X damage. That won't re-roll this. So right, for example. I, oh god, I had to pull up divine favor. I'm this is a horrible timing. I should have pulled this up beforehand, but here we are. So divine favor is a spell. I believe divine favor works with this. So divine favor reads, according to D, &D Beyond, uh your prayer and powers, you with divine radiance, till the spell end, your weapon attacks deal 1d4 radiant damage on hit. This then says. And again, I could be wrong. Maybe Jeremy Twafford is out there on Twitter being like, actually, none of these things work with it. It only does the weapon dice it themselves. But it says, when you roll a one or a two on a damage die for an attack you make with a melee weapon, this is dam a damage die you are rolling for an attack you're making with a melee weapon. So from all checks and balances, as far as I can see, check, 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 check. We're good. This should work with it. Alternatively, Paladin's Divine Smite, I don't believe works with this, but I could be wrong. There are a lot of features in this game that just do an extra damage on hit for some reason. I think like Hunter's Mark is one that doesn't as well. So Divine Smite says the extra damage, you can expend a spell slot to deal radiant damage to the target. It doesn't right. specify your weapon deals bonus damage. So that's the nomenclature difference between Divine Smite and this. That's why Divine Smite doesn't work. Divine Favor does, from my understanding. Probably. yeah. Which could be in wrong, depending again on random rules iterations that people have talked about on Twitter. Which is weird that that's kind of the number one source for rules clarifications that we have in this day and age. In any case, I think that there is some fun to be had for saying Great Love Master Divine Favor Paladin rerolling your ones on D4s is pretty sweet. And finding little rooms and spots in the mechanics to slowly empower this a little bit at a time I think is pretty fun and cool. To your point about D12 versus 2D6s, regardless of if 2D6s are better than D12s, I still really like attacking with D12s, and it feels really good whenever you turn a 1 into an 8 or a 9. It feel, You feel like a hero when it occurs. Or into a 12. Or into a 12. A big um, element... I, 
I think is sometimes overlooked with these is with this specific feature. There is a quantity of damage that is enough damage, and getting your floor of damage to hit that threshold more often is valuable. So going from you're less likely to roll five or under damage wise by rerolling ones and twos does have some pretty large merit, right? Making your it while this doesn't radically increase your average damage on every attack, it makes your instances of doing very small amounts of damage incredibly low, especially yeah. with the two-handed 2d6 ones, right? You're very infrequently going to be hitting five to seven damage and much more commonly going to be getting in the mid-ranges that you want consistently because right. you don't really care to re-roll low dice any, or um, you don't really care to re-roll like threes or th- fours or even like some twos. You're like, eh, that's not the end of the world. But whenever you are never rolling them and you're consistently rolling the fours and fives, it feels a lot better. You're meeting that minimum threshold more often that I'd like to be hitting. And I think that's meritable. Uh, what about uh, crit damage? Does that is that damage oh. doubled or more dice uh, rolled? So, okay. Critical hits, double the hit damage, I believe. I never, ever in the history of DMing rolled it that way. Um, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I've always let players roll twice because it's a lot more fun, but I'm pretty sure whenever you crit, you just double the damage dealt. Okay. I'm 95% sure, which means this has no interaction with critical hits whatsoever. Well, unless, you know... Well, I guess you're turning the two into a five. Yeah. Um, Does anything else stack on top of this? I'm trying to think of other... Like, if you're taking this... (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) If you're taking this, you want to to be rolling as many dice as possible so so you can re-roll some. It's really important to note that... This is not in Rangers class, so whatever Ranger bit damage boosts they get don't qualify because they don't get access to this fighting style. This is just Paladin or Fighter. I think Battlemaster Fighter might get bonus damage on their weapon attacks. Like I think it improves their weapon attacks, not necessarily their the dealing bonus damage like fight might does. But again, right. you'd have to check the nomenclature. So like I'm looking at the maneuvers right now, pulling it up, buying time as per usual. So disarming attack, you add your superior do- you add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll. So that should qualify. You should re-roll superiority dice in that instance if we're following the no- the the verbiage that we looked at earlier with divine um favor. Which again, for all of our viewers out there, I might be wrong. I'm probably not, but I might be wrong. So you know, grain of salt. You know what? I say give it to him because I agree. You know, like we said, this isn't a very powerful feat. I mean, it's it's a fighting style. We're comparing oh, this to fighting style, right? So, like, plus to hit is a lot better because you're going from the instance of no damage to some damage, and that's leagues better than going from an instance of some damage to a little bit more damage. However, I really like doing bigger numbers of damage, and this does bigger numbers of damage, and it lets me reroll dice. I don't like both of those factors. I think are fun, and the average damage bump is probably. I would say it's about as good as dueling is, where dueling is you're using a worse weapon, but you're doing plus two damage. This is like. I think better than an average of plus one damage because of the context of how it affects math and the context of how it affects the damage that you're dealing regularly, what damage you want to improve and what damage you don't care to improve. Like you obviously would like to improve all of your damage, but I would much rather have my lower numbers be higher than all of my damage be slightly like just plus. Like I'd rather get a plus four to my two damage than a plus one to all of my damage, right? Yeah. I'm trying to express this in a way that kind of makes sense. Uh, this kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, this is a feature that I think is around dueling levels of powerful. That's not to say it's the most busted one ever, but it's definitely one I'm taking over defense. It's definitely one I'm taking over the really boring, like, flat, I don't I don't really care about these that much. I think I take this over blind fighting most of the time when I'm playing the two-handed weapon characters, just because it feels so good to use. We're going to get skewered in the comments, but yeah. yeah people totally hate this one. <laughs> and, and a surprising number of people love defense, apparently. Which boggles my mind <laughs> i can't fathom who gets excited about a plus one ac it's oh, oh yeah the difference between 20 and 21 ac is so very exciting oh my god all right, all right. take it easy take it easy sorry i'm sorry i'm trying to write out some commenters that's all <laughs> all gotta right. fuel that engagement engine hey, never mind <laughs> say, say what you will good <laughs> call them stupid oh <laughs> uh, um yeah i mean it I think we covered everything. Uh, unless... I I yeah. All right. You got a rating? Uh, I probably overrate this, but I think the fun factor on top of it being a good damage up to whenever you want it, especially in the early game, puts it at three. I don't think this is revolutionary. <sighs> this isn't like 
burning down the house levels of powerful, but I put it right around where I put dueling, and dueling's definitely a three. And for that reason, yeah, I put it on characters with great weapons. It's not going to be the most optimized thing in the world, but it's still going to be extra damage, and it's still going to feel fun to use. Yeah, and yeah, I'm glad you gave it a three, because I didn't want to just copy yours, but uh, for the same reasons, I'm giving it a four, because uh, ah, I want more comments. Now, okay. also, because, uh, you know, rolling more dice is fun, and uh, yeah, the gambler in me. If, if I if I roll snake eyes and then that turns into twelve, you feel like a champion. Fun. Yeah, that's a ten. Da- if that ever happens and the entire you're sitting down on the table defeats just fight itself, that's a ten damage point swing. That's enormous. It's like taking an extra attack on your fighting style. That's so good. Now that's never happening, but it might. <laughs> that's why it's fun. It's happening occasionally. <laughs> it's happening very infrequently, but it is going to be yes. fun. Does. You're just as often going to roll snake eyes twice in a row. <laughs> Consider oh, yeah, that. That's right? true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was a uh, great weapon fighting. Thank you, Sam, and uh, thank you all for joining us. Please, 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 please let us know what you think in the comments down below, and we will see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it, a gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.